Hello there and a very, very warm welcome. It is Tuesday evening, it's 8 o'clock, and that means one thing and one thing only, Planet Cruise. We've got an amazing show. So without further ado, Justin is with us. Nice to see you, Sorry, I hardly recognise you there. What, just because I've got a tie on? <laughs> it looks very... Yeah. No. Is it reason? Stop it. I tell you what, what, tonight, we have got a great show, but it's featuring, if you're a big fan of Celebrity Cruises, then we've got, well, you know the modern luxury that you usually get with Celebrity? Ruth is coming up tonight, not to talk about the modern luxury, but to talk about one of the best prices we've seen recently on Celebrity Cruises. And one of the most unusual itineraries as well. Once a year, they do this itinerary. Just once a a year, so that's absolutely phenomenal. Looking forward. Yeah. Um, we're not to going to tell you where you're going on. to. You're going to wait until Ruth joins us. <laughs> uh, and some amazing deals, some all inclusive. Yes, yeah, river plenty, cruises. yeah, yeah. And uh, well, talking of, of modern luxury, shall we say, if you'd like to join us to experience some modern luxury, we've actually got a luxury show that's going to be coming up for you. And this is for river, river and ocean cruises. And if you'd like to join us at the Devere at Selston Estates um, on the 6th of September. Then, uh, if you go to www.planetcruise.com, then you can register your interest and join us there. Very good, and they, that's how you do it. Go to the uh, the website, and you can register, say online, very very easily. But I tell you what, we, we're going to crack on because we we we've, we have got an awful lot to get through, haven't we? We have, we have we've got a lot to get, lots to fit in. And, oh. and uh, <laughs> do we fit something in straight away? <laughs> we might as well. Soon as the, the horn sound, we like the horn, don't we? Uh, that means we've got a few, <laughs> a few little surprises. And this is a mini cruise for next year. Now, it's actually for Valentine's. It's with Fred Olsen departing on the 13th of February. And the prices are starting as little as 289. Uh, it's a no-fly cruise from Dover. Um, and it means you're going to be away for Valentine's Day. Having said that, if you're not someone that celebrates Valentine's, if you're not in a, uh, a relationship, we do have a brilliant single price for that one, starting at 389. Take you over to Antwerp and, of course, Amsterdam. So that's Fred Olsen. That's a, a little one that's just going a mini cruise on the 13th of February. You know, I'm just, I'm just thinking. What? Valentine's, and you're going to Antwerp. Diamonds. Oh, good thinking. See? Very good thing. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're going to start off with... Ah, I'm going to use my favourite words. All-inclusive. <laughs> oh, yes. He loves a bit of all-inclusive, doesn't I do love a bit of all-inclusive. <laughs> uh, this is brilliant, actually. Um, I'm looking at it's, it's some great winter sun over to Canaries, but the price is starting at under £700. And that's for all your drinks, yep. tips as well, tips, yeah? Tips are included. We've got single prices as well available on this one. I think the best thing about this cruise is if you like smaller ships and you love the Canaries and you want some good sunshine at an absolute great price, then this is the one to go for because the ship itself is absolutely stunning. Talking of size-wise, uh, 47,000 tonnes, so you've Ooh, got nice, a maximum yeah. of 1,800 passengers, uh, well, 1,877 at full capacity. Uh, but this is actually a ship that um, is well known to those of you that know Celebrity because she's an ex-Celebrity uh, ship. So, uh, fantastic facilities on board. But the Canaries itself, whether you want to go out into the mountains, whether you want to hit some of the beaches, whether it's the volcanic uh, sand, which is, is quite unique. I actually, I, I hope there's no laws against it, but I actually brought back some black volcanic sand from a beach. They probably in Canaries. Well, I just didn't, admitted that on national well, television. Well, if you did it a while ago, I'm sure it was fine. Hey, sorry, it's all right. It's, it's in my mum and dad's back bedroom, so if you want it, go and find them. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, but no, it's, it's absolutely wonderful, and it's, it does feature some of my favourite ports on here. Certainly La Palma, Madeira, as you just saw there. Uh, Agadir going across to uh, Morocco as well. Um, no, not Agadu. No, no. <laughs> and Agadir. Lanzarote as well. So uh, it has got that classic Canarian feel and on a fantastic ship. Um, well, we're going to fly you from London to start with and uh, over to Las Palmas. So straight when the dates here, we, we'd start off in, you know, choice of December right the way through to March. So straight away, you're going to start getting that great, great winter sun, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the actual first port of call that we're going to be going to um, is uh, Tenerife. And Tenerife, just one of those classic ports. In fact, my other half actually spent quite a, a while in Tenerife. She absolutely loves it because it's got something for everybody. Beautiful botanical gardens. You've got great shopping as well. Something for the family. Uh, you can head to Laurel Park. You've got some great beaches there as well. Uh, so definitely something for everybody. And if you do want to head a little bit further out, I sent you about the black sand beaches there, yeah? Uh, if you want to head out a little bit further, you can go to one of the, uh, the viewpoints. So you've got, you've got the Oratoro Valley and then the Humboldt uh, viewpoint as well. There's so, some really pretty places in 
Yeah, we're well, talking of pretty faces. Um, oh, we're, yes. we're now La Isla Bonita. Uh, <laughs> I can't even say oh, it. La Isla Bonita Verde. Um, the beautiful green island is next. Uh, and this is Santa Cruz de la Palma. And lovely little port here. You'll find some great arti uh, uh, artifacts and um, handcrafted uh, trinkets to bring back. I always remember here as well, there was a chap, if, if you walked down one of the streets, there was this, uh, this old chap who used to sit there selling cigars that supposedly was, was rolled there in, in, in Madeira. And he had a picture of Churchill. I'm not too sure because Churchill was very popular. He used to love Madeira, which we'll talk about a little bit later on, but uh, not promoting the sale of tobacco. But, uh, 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 no, if no. he's still there, give him, yeah. give him away. Well, you, Tell just it to my... you just mentioned Madeira, that's where we're, we're exactly. Next. Uh, uh, this, this was a fond favourite of Winston Churchill. There you go. Um, but no, for, for me, Madeira, it has to be about that wonderful, wonderful flower market. Um, and I know say, you know, look, I'll be honest, you'll think, hang on, what's he on about, Justin? Flower market? That doesn't sound like you. It was just wonderful. You stand there around all of these natural uh, flowers that have been grown on Madeira, and you can just pick them, take them back to your cabin. Um, also, you've got to go and do the, uh, the toboggan run. Yeah, I've well. never do, I didn't do that. I chickened <laughs> out just then. Do it next time. Do yeah. it next time. But the gardens are amazing. <laughs> I love my gardening, as you know. And uh, yeah, the gardens are amazing in Madeira. Yeah. Uh, the next day is at sea, isn't it? Yeah, relaxing day at sea. I, th I think it'll be nice just to have a little bit of a break up. It's the sort of tonic to, to the, the, the big ports. The next big port, of course, you're going across to Morocco. And here, Instantly, if you want to go to Morocco, the vibe of Morocco, you've got to go to the Casbah. You've got to go to some of the souks, and there's some great souks that are, are not that far. So go out there, have a little bit of a barter, and walk away. Walk away. Even when they give you a great price, walk away, and the price goes down even further. It's all part and parcel of the fun, but a really great experience going into Morocco. Then we're back into the Canary Islands, and we're back to Lanzarote. Now, Lanzarote, there is a whole wealth of different landscapes. You've got the beautiful little marinas and the little harbours, but then if you had a, a little bit far, further, you can go to the Mountains of Fire or the Montanas del Fuego. Um, Timofea National Park is nice as well. Uh, and also the Underground Lagoon. Now, this, uh, this, this particular lagoon that you see here, um, I know you can't really get an idea of the perspective. That is an underground lagoon. It was actually created by one of the greatest local artists, which was Caesar Manrique. And um, he's more famous for his sort of 1960s bubble-like um, uh, houses. They were like concrete bubbles, really swinging 60s, sort of, you know, Austin Powers. But he also did this as well and uh, comes from a high recommendation. Uh, a very good friend of mine went there. He says, you have to go there. Simply, he was, he was blown away. At the end of that, you're actually coming back into Las Palmas and then flying back to the UK. And that wraps up a brilliant seven days. However, with this, if you want to extend that, you can actually do a pre-cruise stay in Gran Canaria for just £339 per person. Wow. But please, give our cruise and, specialists a call now. And, and, and tell us a bit about the company. Here, just because so we're talking about more smaller ships, more intimate. With uh, with with a smaller company, again, you get to know people, not just the the passengers, but the crew a little bit better as well. And certainly with the size of the ship, you're not going to be struggling with well, space. I'm going to quickly run through what you get because it's an awful lot on this one. You are getting all inclusive uh, with tips as well. Uh, the single is amazing. Now we'll let you know every Tuesday the single cabins go super quickly when you get prices out there. So the single starts at just 829. Return flights, they are based on London Gatwick. Transfers aren't included, but we can add those. Just call for details. And as just, just mentioned, you can add on a seven-night pre-cruise hotel stay in Gran Canaria from only £339 per person. Um, but that is amazing, amazing value. And you can see there, um, great upgrades, the outside just a little bit more, we've got junior suites available and fantastic singles, um, December, look at December 18th, that is really good isn't it? It's really winter good. sun, that'd be lovely wouldn't it? It really would, you know for those of you that want to be away you know for Christmas um, you know you would uh, say just choose that date there and uh, for those of you that want to be away in New Year we've got January, February and March as well. But we've got a very special guest back on the sofa. Hello again. Ruth. Hello again. Thank Lovely you. to see you, mm. as always. We always love having you on the sofa. We do. I love yeah. being here, and I love the fact you've rolled out the lawn for we us. We have. Yes. It's, there it, you go. I, I have to apologise. It's not real grass like you've got on your celebrity ship. No, but it's but close. it's close. It yeah. is. <laughs> um, now Ruth's been on the sofa many, many times. I'm a huge fan mm -hmm. of celebrity. I think I've done eight cruises with you. Amazing. Um, I have, yeah, I love them. I really do. Justin, you've got. 
massive respect for Ruth and so massive amount. Game. But you, usually, when when Ruth comes out, you usually talk about the modern luxury, mm -hmm. which we'll touch on, and the great ships and the great facilities and yeah. all the the new uh, things that they're rolling out. But tonight, it's all about the price. It's and unbelievable. You price per night on this. We you? have, we have. It's an incredible itinerary. As you mentioned at the beginning of the show, we only do this itinerary once one, a so, year. So there's only one chance to get it every year. One chance a year. And it's a beautiful itinerary. You get a couple of overnight stays as well. And the price point is superb. And just it looking really here, is. I mean, you know, we, we're going to talk in more detail, but yes. Boston, New York, Bermuda. Yeah, overnight Bahamas. in the Bahamas at the end. <laughs> I know, you I know. get all of it. You're a bit of everything, isn't there? There is. We call it Broadway and beaches. Yeah. And it is, isn't it? It is. Um, the best of both worlds. And it sells out every year, doesn't it? Every single year. It's an incredibly popular itinerary. Well... Well, hang on, what's it? Yeah, I could even do this one, essentially. I think you could. I, I see a cruise I, coming up. I think I should. Uh, work a plan for next year. Isn't it? Exactly. But let, let's talk about your amazing ground. Well, of course, Silhouette, this is her first season sailing from the UK this year, and she has received the highest guest ratings we've ever had from really? the UK, even higher than Celebrity Eclipse, no. which is amazing, yeah. You would have seen at the beginning of the, the video there, we've still got our wonderful lawn club. My favorite sunset bar is up there. But they've also got the lawn club grill, where you can actually grill with the chef under the stars, which I love. We've got our gorgeous aqua class staterooms with blue restaurant, which we both love, don't we? we a bit of blue do. restaurant. And the Persian garden. And there you can see our crystal wine tower because we actually have the largest and rarest wine collection at sea. And food and wine are our passion. And the variety of restaurants you've got with dishes being cooked to order is immense. I say from sushi to souffles, there's something for everybody. And just look at the entertainment. I mean, it is outstanding. It is outstanding. And of course, we've launched 18 new shows in 18 months across the whole fleet. And I know this is one of your favorite spots, the Martini Ice Bar. Really no is. celebrity ship would be complete without a Martini Ice Bar. Over 50 different flavors and brands. And of course, there's, our, there's quiet spots on the shot ship, there's busy spots, there is something for everybody on this wonderful celebrity do, do silhouette. You know, whenever I, I see that footage, I, you know, I always feel so at home on a celebrity mm. ship. You know, I've got so many amazing memories. I was looking yeah. at, you know, yes. they are incredible ships. They um, are. And, and what's so wonderful is our crew, because oh, they are yeah. genuinely smiling and happy and cannot do enough for you and really want to preempt what you want and have it see you coming and have it ready waiting for you yeah, they, they're amazing hey if you've never cruised a celebrity i hope that you book tonight and say yeah. this is a cruise that only appears once a year yes so um cruising out of southampton of course we are so it's nice and easy for you yeah, definitely, definitely, and I know you're going to say a little bit more about the the option that if you don't want to fly, there is an option for that. We'll tell you about that later. That's on. at the end. Yes. That's at yes. the end. Yeah, but from Southampton sailing across, you've got all those great days at sea, and for those of you, you know, you think, okay, those days, enjoy the ship, the facilities oh, that are on board. My also, favourite days are some. Well, are often the days at sea, which sounds yes. really bad, yeah, but no. the ships are so wonderful. No, out I on the agree. Promenade deck, just out on one of yeah. the steamer chairs, you've just enjoying the fresh air. You've got that beautiful solarium. You've got the alcoves up at the lawn. That's the, the lawn club. That's one of my favourite restaurants. It is fabulous. But we also do wine tasting classes, culinary classes, crafting, dance classes, enrichment lectures. There is so much for you to choose from. And you can choose to do some of it, all of it, or none of it. It's your choice, but you really get a relaxing start to your holiday. Alcos, definitely for me. Me definitely too. Definitely Alcos. Um, but yeah, after your, after your relaxing days at sea, this is preparing you for some of the best ports that I've, uh, I've seen. This, this, you don't get chance to do this well, all the time. Well, I've never been to Boston. It's, oh, it's a my great list. city. Yeah. And again, in the, in the years that I was at sea, I probably only called in there a couple of times, but some of the things that I definitely recommend, I mean, straight away, it's, it's known as the cradle of independence, so you've mm -hmm. got lots of rich history here, so you can do the Freedom Trail, uh, you can also do the Boston Tea Party as well. One of the things that me and Ruth were talking about earlier on, there's a yes. great market, yes. which is a just a purely food, mar food market, so it's great for shopping, and there's a great shop area not too far from the actual uh, port itself and right in the center there's a food market it's a little bit like Covent Garden you know you walk oh, down yeah, that, yeah. that center yeah. and there's just food stalls off either side and it's just amazing you just got to go there and try everything don't have breakfast because you will before it's it's just a great day I still think I'd manage breakfast just <laughs> but it's also very close to <laughs> Salem so you could actually oh, go out course. to Salem 
and do the Salem Witch Trail for yeah. as well. Yeah, and also fun. Yale University is not far from there. It's an amazing region. Now, I know you want to talk about New York next because it's one of your favourite places. We're there the overnight, aren't we? Two full days and an overnight. For me, I am going to Broadway. I'm going <laughs> yes. to see a Broadway show that evening. I really am. Or Central Park, as you can see there, to be, to be fair, Central Park, having a wander around Central Park where you can hire a bicycle, there's so much to see and do. You've got Poets mm -hmm. Walk, which is a yes. famous thing, lots of films have been shot there. You'll recognise a lot of the buildings as well from a lot of uh, recognisable films. You've got John Lennon's memorial as well, because he had an apartment just overlooking Central Park. Uh, you've got the Brooklyn Bridge, you can walk it, it's fantastic to go down yes, there. It is. Go and see the it's memorial to the Trade Centre as well and just go yeah. and pay some respects. There's some great things and, that you can do. And a Greenwich Village State. as well. Yeah. I'm thinking it will be autumn, so yeah. uh, Central Park will be beautiful, but also you could do some Christmas shopping. You could. You? Macy's, oh, Bloomingdale's, yes. Greenwich Fifth Village. Avenue. Yes. Fabulous. You know, I'd, I'd actually say, here's my recommendation. You said about the Empire State's building. I'd actually go to say, go to the Empire State's later in the evening yeah. to see the at skyline night. at night because you can see the Chrysler yes. building. And also, on the sail in, be up early yeah. to sail past the Statue <laughs> yes. of Liberty. To sail into that Manhattan skyline is a sail in of a lifetime. So you've had, uh, say, your two nights uh, there in New York. We've got a day at sea and then another place I'd love to visit. Two days in Bermuda, two another days. overnight. Yeah, and it's a it's fantastic location, this. You've got lots of arts and crafts that are in the local area. There's a lovely lighthouse that's not too far. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, absolutely stunning beaches. And to yes. be fair, that's back to back, because apart from that day, then you've got a relaxing day at sea, and then you're into Nassau, which is, again, fantastic beaches. You've got some great resorts like the Atlantis Resort, which you'll probably recognise, Fort Charlotte as well. Uh, and there's mm -hmm. uh, one recommendation, the SeaWorld Explorer, uh, where it's oh. a submarine submersible that you can go underwater and you can see some of the local reefs as well, which you can't do at all of the, the Caribbean islands, but this is particularly one um, to, uh, to, to put one of note, shall we say. And also great for golf in both Bermuda and the Bahamas mm -hmm. if you want to yeah, play yeah, golf yeah. while you're there as well. I'd like, I'm just hoping one day I've got time to learn golf. And <laughs> <laughs> in your retirement, honey, in yes. your retirement. <laughs> um, now, uh, sadly, you then do disembark uh, in Fort Lauderdale. However, you do get a two-night stay in a four-star hotel. And again, loads to do in Fort Lauderdale, isn't oh, it? Fort Lauderdale, shopping's great. Yeah, yeah. Shopping is wonderful, there. but so are the beaches, beaches and the walks. The restaurants yeah. as well to choose from in the evening and do take a, chip, a trip through the waterways as well and the little canals. It's beautiful, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, go on one of the, the I was going to say hover boats, one of the... Um Oh, yeah. Call it a hover boat, oh, we, we know what you mean. Hover boat. You know the <laughs> ones <laughs> I mean. Gentle Ben, if you remember Gentle there Ben. There you go. Um, I tell you what, there's one thing that I have to note on this. There is an option if you want to stay at Miami Beach and New Orleans a little bit longer. Arsh's cruise specialist when you book this one. Because yes. if you're going to go out there, I think New Orleans are just, I mean, this is already Finish a great cruise, but that would just take it to another level. Um, it would. Then you uh, you do fly, of course, back to London. If you don't want to fly back, I know you have got an option. There is. There is another holiday built with Boston Broadway and Bermuda, and you cannot fly back. You can sail back. But rather than give you the details now because we're short on time, please call the call centre because they've got all the details. It's a great way to do this trip. Now, no fly either um, way. Ruth, I, you know, so I'm a huge fan of celebrity. Yes. Um, you get amazing feedback. You've won numerous awards. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very special itinerary, isn't it? It really it, is. It, it is. is once a year. Yeah. And as, as we say, it does sell out. And value. You, you worked out. What, what was it per night? Was, this for celebrity I is know. 83 pounds per person per night for an interior stateroom. If you want to upgrade to an ocean view, it's three pounds per night. Well, once you've done that, you think, well, I might as well have a balcony which is eight pounds a night. No. For a balcony for 18 nights on this sailing, it is 94 pounds per night. That, that is exceptional. It is exceptional. It, we also have concierge class, aqua class and suites. And again, the cruise specialists in the call centre have all those details. But a balcony for yeah. 18 nights on Celebrity and is also, 94 pounds per I, night. Imagine that balcony sailing into New York and seeing Absolutely. the Statue of Liberty. Absolutely. That I, that yes. is worth it on its own. It I is. haven't got a cruise in my diary at the moment. I feel oh, really, I feel, I feel naked a phone almost. Call. No, I, do, I, do, I, feel <laughs> I know a really good call centre you could call to get so this. So do I. 
And I think the number begins with 0808, doesn't it? It does. Um, but anyway, let's show you what's included on this one. Um, so great. You've got the two-night uh, stay in the Full Star Hotel in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, the overnights, this is going to make it sensational. Two overnights in New York and Bermuda as well. Uh, it's just to mention, you can add on a Mammy Beach and New Orleans stay from only £614 per person. And if you don't want to fly, there is an option to have the ultimate no-fly sailing for only £679 per person. And uh, inbound flight to London plus all your overseas transfers is included there as well. And that is amazing and only a deposit tonight. Sells out every year and I think it's going to be one of the top sellers tonight. Um, just before, can I just say goodbye to Ruth just before we move on? Yes. Because there was one more thing you wanted to mention. Yes, before I go, because as you know, we have currently free drinks free Wi-Fi, free spending money, free parking. That offer on all of our European sailings, including Scandinavia and Russia, ends in a few days. So if that's yeah. where you want to go, get that yeah. booked as well in the next few days. That's so an amazing give offer. Give us a call for any of those celeb yes. cruises right now. Ruth, thank you so much. Lovely to be here. I might honestly thank book you. that one. Good. I <laughs> look forward to I it. I think I should. Loads of places I haven't visited. Absolutely. Yet. Anyway, we are going to... We, we could talk for hours and we always get told off. But we better <laughs> move on to... Our next cruise, and this is with Viking Cruises. Let's take you on board. If you're after an elegant, serene ship ambience, more time in each port, and an inclusive experience complete with exquisite dining and thoughtfully curated shore excursions, then Viking's venture into ocean cruise may be perfect for you. With a small fleet of intimate ships, all holding 930 guests, you can expect an understated elegance that will truly immerse you in the destinations you visit. On board Viking, you can expect the highest level of luxury and elegance when it comes to your staterooms. With all veranda cabins on board, you'll always be able to sit back and enjoy the scenery as you cruise around the world. So whether you go for the veranda stateroom with a huge 270 square feet of space, or up to the Explorer's Suite offering priority shore excursion and spa treatment reservations, a welcome bottle of champagne, premium in-suite binoculars, a coffee maker and cashmere blankets, you're sure to be living the luxury lifestyle. With a host of exquisite dining options on board, all Viking Ocean ships, you can be sure that your taste buds will travel just as much as you. Whether you're after the authentic, fresh heartiness of Manfredi's Italian restaurant, or maybe something a bit more intimate with the chef's table, where expert sommeliers and culinary masters create the perfect pairing of food and wine. Then you have the delights of Mamsons offering up Norwegian specialities for breakfast, lunch, afternoon and evening snacks. And not forgetting the Winter Garden offering up late afternoon tea in a true English hallmark fashion. Now, no cruise is complete without its fulfilment of onboard entertainment. And with Viking you'll be blown away with the high standards set. With an incredible lecture program designed to give you a real immersion from leading experts, you can really expect to be given a huge insight into the places you visit. Viking has also partnered with the innovative TED Talks to bring you powerful talks on art, history, science and technology. With a theatre showcasing a variety of intimate shows, when it comes to evenings you definitely won't be bored. Offering up Viking exclusive musicals, operatic fantasy or the music of ABBA, the Rat Pack and the Beatles. We were just talking about Viking, and many of you will know mm. that obviously the Viking River Cruises, but when they launch their, their ocean cruises, I mean, they've really... Yeah. The, 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 re, the feedback, the response they've had has been incredible. This is the ultimate luxurious cruise, isn't it? Let's just say that when they made the transition from river into ocean cruises, they weren't messing about. They really weren't, were not, they? And, and not to go into too much detail, um, but they probably went to some of the top cruise lines and went, right, that's the best cruise director. That's the best yeah. tours director. We want you to come and work for us and make it the best. And, and that's why and I, I'll, I'll just say straight away, it's not one of the cheapest cruises that we've got tonight. No, no. And that it is that for a reason. Yeah. Five star. You get 11 tours included with that as well. And as you were mentioning earlier on, and, and I know we always have a little bit of a joke, you always say about your all-inclusive drinks. But Sean was mentioning earlier, I said, I can't believe it. I've seen a snow and snor sauna room. And, you know, to, to have a room where you can, you, know, you can go into your sauna and then come out and there's actually snow falling from the, the sea. Oh, the spa. I mean, <laughs> we were looking online earlier. It, I mean, everything about this is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just think of Scandinavian luxury. Think of all those luxury yeah. brands, the design houses, whether it's sound systems, whether it's cars, whether it's watches. It's got that, that very, very sparse but very practical 
design. Even, it's got that finish. Well, that's even just... the showers. I was looking at the showers, <laughs> and they were like really big walk-in showers. Uh, <laughs> that's so very true. You. You'll know if you've ever been on certain cruise ships and the showers are a bit tight. These have got really big walking showers. But anyway, I've been on cruises. I was in crew areas, yeah, not in passenger yeah, areas. Yeah. I know it. It's like yeah, a brick yeah, cupboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, many happy memories in those showers. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, we're flying out to Bergen, and this is one of my uh, favourite ports in Norway. This is this is you usually finish the cruise in Bergen. You do, don't you? Yeah. Um, but Bergen's fantastic. You can walk up into the hills. You can get uh, a little trip in the vernacular railway. Uh, the fish market's great every week there. Um, but all I just say is is the education level in Norway is just something unbelievable. They speak so many different languages here that most of the restaurants that you go into, they'll actually give you a menu that is in your native tongue, and then they'll take the order and speak to you in that native tongue. And there's probably about nine different menus. It's it's just an awesome place to go. Um, then we're going off to Ed Fjords. Now this is where we start to head into the fjords, um, Fjordland country and certainly this is more the summer resorts where they will retreat in the winter just purely because it's, it's in inhabitable. Is that the correct word? Yeah. Um, you, you, can't, you just can't live there but in the summer all the snow and all the ice starts to melt away and it just reveals this just lush green fresh you've never um, breathes such fresh air. I, I, I love a fjord. It's they are amazing. Breathtaking. And you feel so well that as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This is the thing. Sorry, we, we, we're showing you that fantastic waterfall. This is this is the Voring Ring Fossen uh, waterfall, which is one of the most uh, well most amazing natural attractions that's in um, in in Norway. Uh, talking of which, my next favourite place in uh, Norway is Stavanger. Now this is, this is known as the Cradle of the Vikings. So you, you've got fantastic history here, and one of the great uh, the photo. This is this is one of the uh, the great photo opportunities. But there's a place called the Pulpit Rock. Um, which is definitely one to go and get a photo with and it just gives you some sort of an idea of the perspective of how um, high these these um, mountains are and how beautiful the actual cruising in and out will be. I'd recommend getting up early and even staying out late as well because there's, there's a lot to see and the uh, usually on board a ship the, the captain will give some commentary which is good as well. Now we're going to pop into Denmark just for uh, a day and this is absolutely stunning. You can go to the, uh, the Stone House uh, which as you can see here very much like Scotland you know when you have to build things that are just very rugged um, then uh, you can go to Jensbang Stenhouse or Stone House uh, which is built in the 1600s uh, you've also got a whole street um, which is the Jean Fru Angard uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly um, it's uh, it's a street full of uh, restaurants and bars and great little food stalls so just try this quite a different cuisine you wouldn't say you know I want to go Danish tonight would you well actually yeah <laughs> But, uh, you know, go, go and try some of it. Then we're into Copenhagen. Now, a very good friend of mine, in fact, my, he's like a brother to me. He's just come back from Copenhagen, and I gave him the top ten things to do. And he got through about five of them. He said, I've got to go back. It's simply wonderful. Um, when you get off the ship, you can actually walk around into one of the small harbour towns where you see some of the, the local ships. And when I say local ships, like this. Um, also, you can walk around and see um, the Little Mermaid. So Hans Christian Andersen is a great She's association. She always reminds me of Ruth that we've just had on the sofa, <laughs> don't you think? Tiny, yeah, yeah. Very, very small yeah, and very beautiful. Very um, and of course, Tivoli Gardens. I mean, Tivoli Gardens, there is just so much here. There's great exhibitions, there's a great aquarium, great amusement arcade. Um, there's, there's also, I think it's, it's the oldest roller coaster um, in, uh, in Northern Europe, uh, and just fantastic. Go, go there, and you will just have a great day out. Then we're into another unique port, and it's quite funny actually. Somebody said to me, they went, You're going to go to Berlin? How'd you hang on? You're going to sail into to Berlin. No, the actual port is somewhere called Warnemunde. Now, Warnemunde is again a summer resort, but all year round they go swimming. So you know, you know when you I go back to the 1950s, yeah, 1920s, where the they 20s had 20s costumes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've got these little sort of wicker wicker huts that you can go and get changed, and they go swimming every day. But Warnemunde is is very much a, a summer resort. Great to walk around. Little canals. Great shops. And there's a little island that you can go across to. But of course, as you can see there, you can head on into Berlin. Uh, there'll be obviously lots of tours there. If you're going to want to go and see the Brandenburg Gate, uh, get your passport stamped by Czech Pop Charlie, uh, then you can do that as well. Then we're off to Gdansk. Now, Gdansk, great history here. Um, you've got the Melbourne Castle, you've got the shipyards as well. So for those of you that love your cruise ships, um, then uh, there's something like uh, over a thousand ships have actually been built in the Gdansk shipyard, so you can go and see that as well. 
Then we've got a lovely day at sea, and again, it's nice to have these days at sea to appreciate the ship, go yeah. to that snow and sauna um, in, the, in the spa, because you're going to need it. You've got more big ports. We're into Tallinn. Now, Estonia, again, a beautiful, beautiful country and great people. Um, the actual city uh, square itself, there's a lovely old town hall in there. I was actually best man for a very good friend of mine in that town hall. And there's a little, it's, look, there was a little flower store just to the left hand side, it doesn't do it justice. When you walk into the old town, there's literally a whole road full of florists. And again, it's a bit like Madeira where you see those wonderful flowers and fauna. And of course you've got the cathedral, uh, the church, St Mary's, oh no, it's cathedral, St Mary's Cathedral up at the top. Um, then we're to St Petersburg, should go to Russia. Should we have an overnight? There is one thing that you just simply have to do when you go into St. Petersburg. Have you, have you done it? No, I've not been. I know you're going to say that. Can't believe. The ballet. Yeah. And again, I know there's a I, lot I of you that will sit it. there and go, that doesn't sound like Justin. It, I, I think of the three times I went to St. Petersburg overnight, twice I did the ballet. Just beautiful. You go and have a glass of champagne. You can go to the Hermitage. The, 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 you can go to the, um, the Church of Spilt Blood as well. It's just, and the markets, oh crikey, the markets, it just, you'll come back, you know the, the, the old um, Russian submarine winter hats? I'll come back with that, I'll come back <laughs> with fighter pilot helmets, the, the full work, it's brilliant. It's, it's a bit bonkers as well because it's, it's not what you expect, um, but a lovely, lovely place. Anyway, um, then we're off to Helsinki, Ooh. which is going to drop in there. Um, Finland, fantastic place, I've got a couple of good friends uh, from Finland, I don't know whether uh, Valter is watching. Um, but uh, it love fantastic architecture, great people, and um, some of the local delicacies of their fish is quite interesting, shall we say. They're in Stockholm. This is actually an overnight on board, I do believe, in Stockholm. And um, this is just a great opportunity, again, to soak up some of the Viking history here. Um, also, some of the buildings are just absolutely beautiful, and there's a lovely museum as well that's not actually that far. It's walking, it's probably about 20, 30 minutes walk into the main town. Um, or you can get a shuttle in it if you want. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, and then, sadly, you, uh, you disembark, you're transferred to airport and you fly back to London. Um, the most beautiful ship, say, Justin and I were looking at the Viking Star earlier. I mean, she is absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Look at the spa, for example. But I have to oh. point this out, this has got 11 tours included on this one. So it just is absolutely fantastic. Um, so let's just remind you of everything that you are getting. It's where is everything? It's uh, first of all, it is an exclusive, so you will get a free Silver Spirits drink package tonight. So that is all included. You'll get a hundred fifty dollars on board spent and eleven guided tours. All of those overnights that we talked about. Uh, flights now, flights from Manchester, Birmingham, Edinburgh, and Glasgow with no extra supplement whatsoever. Um, so that one I think would be outstanding. Everything included price-wise, starting at 4439 uh, for the veranda. But we also have, in terms of rooms, we also have, as well as the veranda, we have got the deluxe veranda, the penthouse, and the penthouse junior suites as well. So uh, there's uh, all the different prices that we have got available there. Uh, it's already got some silence on the veranda. And uh, just to remind you, we are going to give you a complimentary drinks package on this one as well, which is uh, the Silver Spirits drinks package. And that really, well, that's unlimited premium wines, beers, espresso drinks, juices, everything there to make your cruise absolutely perfect. Wow. Uh, to my breath away that one actually. But we've also got back Luxury Corner. And we've got the most amazing deal for you right now. Have a look at this. It is from Cunard. Now, we could not believe the price. It's for the 23rd of June next year. Seven nights on board the Queen Victoria. And the price, this is for Cunard, five star, 599. I know, 599. And um, a Planet Cruise exclusive, the deposit starts at just a pound on that one so if you think about going I mean that's June next year it's prime time seven nights on board the Queen Victoria 599 um, and that's uh, say so that's to France Amsterdam and Bruges as well but coming up we uh, now my favorite words are all inclusive but my favorite three words are gone premium all-inclusive <laughs> and this is a, a premium all-inclusive cruise with uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines and 
it's taking you over to the Southern Caribbean with a New York stay as well. So we're flying over to New York. We're there in a four-star hotel for three nights. And here's Gemma to tell you more. So I'm here in New York City, one of my favourite cities in the entire world. And of course, the city that as Frank sang, never sleeps. And you can understand why, because there is so much to do and see. I'm sat here in beautiful Central Park with the amazing vista of the skyscrapers behind me. And the plan is that later on I'll be meandering up that way in the direction of Fifth Avenue and all the famous department stores like Saks and Bloomingdale's. But a weekend in New York isn't just about shopping. Of course, there are so many incredible sights to take in, such as the Statue of Liberty, Times Square, the Empire State Building. There are museums to visit, galleries to see, culture galore. And then at night, the food, Broadway, there's a hot ticket for anything that you might like to do. And in terms of finding your way around, it's easy. It all operates on a grid system, so even I can't get lost. And if all else fails, you just hail a typical New York taxi. It's all part of the experience. Oh, we love New York. Uh, and talked about that earlier, of course, as well. Uh, so you've got your three nights there, but then we embark the fantastic Norwegian gem for this incredible 10 night cruise around the Southern Caribbean. And um, we're making our way, first of all. It's San Juan. Oh, yeah. San Juan, you Puerto Rico. Such than me. San Juan. San Juan. Yeah. Um, yeah, the old part of the, the actual city itself is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's 465 years it dates back. There's, there's a whole modern shopping complex as well, and some great beaches there. One thing that I'd recommend is going to the Casa Bacardi, because you can actually go and see um, the rum distillery where some of these great rums are distilled. Then we're off to St. Kitts. This is very much an outdoor activity um, uh, island and history as well. You've got places like the Brimstone Hill Fortress, uh, Pinney's Beach as well. And of course, if you want to hit Nevis, um, one of the most popular parts of the region, then you can do that as well. St. Lucia is all about a couple of a couple of things really. St. Lucia is all about the pitons, it's all about Marigot Bay and also, well, there you go. I, I just say a couple of things, yeah, the, the two <laughs> pitons there. Um, but Salfrey is one of the, uh, the great towns there as well as Castro is where you dock. Uh, Pigeon Point at the north of the island is really good, but you're not going to go far wrong in St. Lucia. Quite a lush green island. If it does rain there, it rains for 30 seconds and then it's steaming and then you dry. It's, it's, it's amazing. Of, it's, I love it, I love it. Uh, then we're off to Antigua, 365 beaches for 360, <laughs> exactly. Um, some of the greatest beaches here as well. Really good duty free uh, as well. So all the American brands, and if you love your jewelry and watches, you'll love that. Um, very much the same, um, oh, sorry, that wasn't Thomas. Um, then uh, a couple of like, relaxing days at sea, and then you're back into New York and flying back to London. Great, so St. Thomas, then a few days at sea and over to New York on that one. Um, now I mentioned premium all-inclusive. What oh, does yes. that mean, well, Sean? Well, let's have a little look. It does mean the, the most amazing drinks package. It means that you're going to get your Wi-Fi included, all of your tips. So really everything that you need to make your cruise absolutely outstanding without spending any extra money whatsoever. And that really, you know, that makes a big difference when you get premium all-inclusive, you know. Massive selection of drinks. The ship itself, I mean, I've, I've cruised the Norwegian Cruise Lines three times, actually. And they are a fantastic company with great, great ships. Loads to see, loads to do. Very, very high standards. I love the fact that they're not too formal as well, so there's lots of um, kind of casual choices in terms of dining as well. Um, Price-wise, let's just get everything again that is included. So I'll say it again for one final time. It is a premium all-inclusive cruise. So that's drinks, tips, and your Wi-Fi as well. You're also going to get on-board spend up to $500 on board spend per state on this one. Uh, a three night stay in a four star Manhattan hotel in New York City and all of your return flights as well. I think that's amazing value, don't you? Absolutely amazing value, but there's yeah. still more to come in tonight's show. It is absolutely amazing. Um, just to let you know, price wise, we've got great dates um, for February uh, and March, uh, November next year. We've even got dates into. Um, 2020 as well, but you'll notice that the price has got some really good ones and even things like the mini sweets there as well. Uh, so, um, say that uh, that one really took my fancy actually. Everything included for uh, under <laughs> 1900 pounds. I like that one. Um, oh, oh, we are. That... I thought I'd sound something then. <laughs> no, <it's>, uh, <laughs> we, 
when the hole goes off, it means that something uh, something extra has come into the show. Uh, and it's this one here. Let's have a little look. So this is, um, so we have not even seen this one. So it's from Celestial. Yes. Oh, um, Five Nights as well. Okay, I've just got to say, for those of you that watch the show regularly, you'll know that Celestial has featured is it three out of the, the last four They've done really shows? Well, though, yeah. Uh, it, it really has been one of the most popular cruise lines that we've been booking recently. So much so that my in-laws are even considering going on there and taking me and the other half away. Oh, very which, nice. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know that, but they're going to be taking us away. <laughs> uh, now this um, this is all inclusive. Uh, tips as well. You get a, a night hotel stay in Athens as well. You also get a couple of excursions included. Yep. And seven three nine is the price there. But a nice uh, little mini break there. But with everything is included: excursions, tips, and drinks as well. Very nice, isn't it? Uh, now. Should we change it up? Should we go for a river cruise? I think we should. Let's do we it. We always like to feature a river cruise every week, don't we? It's yeah. A little bit different. Uh, I have yet to experience a river cruise, but high on my list. Does it help <laughs> the funny thing is, a lot of people go, oh, shall I try a river cruise and then go ocean cruising? It's actually usually the other way around. Yeah. Um, because this completely different uh, type of experience. Um, Saga, it's one of those big brands that everybody knows and a great ship. Uh, there's really, really limited availability and, and on this one. And you noticed on the screen, a pound per person deposit. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, deposit starting as little as a pound. So uh, let's give you a little taster of a Saga River Cruise. So really nice intimate, intimate ships here. Yeah, yeah, 151 passengers. Um, right. So it really is absolutely fantastic. They, they've got a lift on board as well. They've also got a chairlift. So there's great accessibility as well for everybody. But it's the, the way in which you're actually cruising because Usually, you know, we said about cruising into New York and seeing the Empire State Building, but that's obviously quite large. This, a few metres away, and there's, there's the banks of the um, Rhine. Just before I forget, very, really important, we've got some amazing single prices on yes, this. Yes. But there yes, are limited really availability. Good. I think we're just talking handfuls on, select, on certain dates. So if you are a single lady and gent, please book this tonight, because I think you'd be disappointed. I think you need to book it tonight, because we're hearing early, there's only literally handfuls of single comes available. And... Brilliant prices. I mean, really good on single. Anyway, so Justin, just I'd get, I'd get that in before I forgot. That's fine, that's fine. Right. But uh, for, for, for me, it's all about the itinerary. This is absolutely fantastic. You're flying out to Basel in Switzerland. And of course, you're actually going to be staying here. There's a welcome drink ceremony on board. And you're going to remain moored overnight in Basel and spend the next day. So the day two is starting in Basel. And this is um, really the heart of Switzerland. If you love your watchmaking and jewelry, then this is going to be fantastic. There's some great contemporary museums and galleries and there is an optional tour um, which you can book and go a little bit further afield but it's actually in the evening usually around dinner time when you're having your evening meal that they actually set sail so you're getting back on board the ship and you're heading to Kel now this is the the next day day three you're going to spend the morning in Kel and this is actually opposite the French city of Strasbourg um, so uh, really and you can see there I mean how close you are it's just reach out your window and you can just see the scenery passing in, in front of you. Um, day four, um, you can uh, then you're going to be uh, going from Mannheim um, and cruising along. You can take an optional excursion across the Heidelberg and then join the ship a little bit later on. If you're staying on board the ship, then you get to see all the wonderful um, uh, vineyards up on the hills there. Great wine region um, and just absolutely fantastic. If you get off in the actual port itself. Um, there's um, half-timbered houses, there's Romanesque cathedral, there's Roman ruins, there's plenty to see and do there. And she's going to be moored uh, in uh, Mainz overnight. Then we're into day five, Boppard. And this is just a mythical and magical setting. It really is. If you've heard the story of Lorelei, the famous maiden, she was being chased away and she was she was captured and she wanted to go and see her precious Rhineland. And this is in one more time. Is this in Boppard. This is in Boppard, yeah. Um, and um, before before they uh, before they took her away, she said, "I want to see the Rhine one more time." And she got trapped in this rock. And the actual where the river merges, there's this great sort of gurgling sound of, of the, the running uh, river, but the rock actually echoes. And this is this is oh, what everybody says that, that the, the famed story of Lorelei. I haven't probably told it as, as, as well as it should have been done, um, but definitely whilst you're there, got the idea, try and see Justin. the rock we, we of the Lorelei. <laughs> <laughs> um, from Barbados, you're actually going to be then sailing to Alcan um, and staying there overnight. Now, the next day, you're going to be waking and cruising along 
uh, the scene at Mosul to one of my, well, it, it's a fantastic place, Cockham. Um, now, the small town is it's neoclassical and gothic. Uh, there's a fantastic castle there, we, which you can visit, visit as well. Um, also, there's a, a lovely town hall here. Uh, my my mother-in-law actually spent time here in her earlier years. Um, uh, my father-in-law was actually based here in the army, so they know the area very, very well. In fact, her, her grandfather, my mother half's grandfather, loves Germany so much that near enough every year we try and do a German Christmas market, um, or something very German, so um, it's fantastic. Anyway, um, from, uh, from Cockham you're actually going to be sailing out and then uh, arriving in Vinegan um, late in the evening. You're going to be moored overnight and then in the morning you can take a look around this beautiful, pretty village. I mean, just take Looks a look at that. It's so just picturesque. picturesque. Yeah. Um, you, you're there until lunchtime. And at lunchtime, you're going to be sailing for Connors Vinter. And uh, this is a, a great opportunity if you want to go out into the R Valley uh, en route, then you can do as well. Um, then from Connors Vinter, you're going to be sailing to Cologne. Now, this is just one of my favourite places when it comes to Germany. The Christmas markets that are around the cathedral. I know we're talking about July, but in the cathedral here, this is where they've got a grey open square. You're just walking distance from the ship. So literally where the, the bell tower is there and the bridge, you can see where the ship is docked. And you're going to be there overnight. There is an optional tour that you can take if you want to go into Bonn as well, which is uh, Germany's former capital, um, uh, or just spend a leisurely, uh, leisurely afternoon having a wander around the city. It just is a fantastic itinerary. Um, and a lot's included on this one as yes. well, actually, an awful lot. Let's just show the ships. How many passengers did you say? Just 151. 150, yeah, 151. 25 officers and crew. But it looks, you know, um, you know, a nice selection of, say, you've got lovely restaurants, you've got some nice little bars there. Um, the itinerary looks amazing, so you've got that constant changing scenery. Yeah, and with this, uh, with this I'll try and say it, Wines, beers, and soft drinks are with lunch and dinner, and dinner as well. Uh, so they are, that's all included. Now, I, I mentioned the single special. Let's just remind you. So, first of all, a deposit from only a pound tonight. Uh, you are going to be over at board in most ports, and selected excursions are also included on this one. As Justin just mentioned, you will get house wine, beer, and soft drinks with lunch and dinner, not breakfast, Justin. Just. Oh, Bloody that's Mary. Glenn. No, that's Glenn Knight's to drink with his breakfast. Really? Yeah, he's terrible. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm only joking. Single special starting at 1405. So let's just show you the prices. We've got a few different dates for the singles, actually. Um, so the 13th of June, the 4th of July, and the 4th of October. But all those single prices are amazing. And then in terms of um, couples, we've got uh, passenger deck cabins promenade deck cabins and the main deck cabin as well but amazing value we do expect that one to uh, to sell very very quickly tonight but if you do i know i've said it twice but if you are a single lady gent we only have a handful of those cabins available we well, one final cruise yeah and what a, what a way to finish fancy fancy heading out to la and then out to hawaii so many, put your hands up so many places that i want to go to actually hawaii <sighs> what a jet set you've been to hawaii I haven't. Actually. No, one of the few places you've ever been to. I'd there. love to. And do you know what I'd love to go and do there? Just get on a surfboard and make an idiot of myself. <laughs> Just, you know, you've got to go there because, yeah, you know, yeah. when, you, when you think of Hawaii, I mean, you've got great out, uh, outdoor activities there, fantastic culture. And, and... Well, anyway, we, um, we better just take you on board and okay. give you a little idea of what life on board Princess is going to be like. <laughs> Again, Princess, amazing reputation. Uh, I cruised them twice now, and it, and it was wonderful. Before, we should say, before you embark uh, the Emerald Princess, 
you do actually have a night in LA, don't you? <laughs> yeah. 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 How about that? So a four-star hotel in LA. God, what would you do? So much choice, isn't I there? I can't tell you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'd go and have an amazing night. Yeah. I mean, because just imagine seeing some of the sight. I mean, it depends on on uh, time-wise. You know what you, you've got to enjoy. But you know, to go down to Venice Beach, to head down and see some of the real big sightseeing. I mean, you know, iconic landmarks. Um, it will be fantastic. But to be fair, we're actually heading to uh, a few relaxing days at sea and then into Hawaii and the collection of islands. It's just going to be awesome. But uh, yes, enjoy your, uh, enjoy your stay in L.A. So we, we, uh, we mentioned that you will be on board the Emerald Princess uh, 15 nights. And obviously you're making your way over to Hawaii. So the first days are at sea. So you just enjoy the... the Find your way around facility. the ship, yeah. yeah. I love days at sea, don't you? Yeah, absolutely love them. There's nothing more than I wish I could just click my fingers, be on that steamer, yeah. uh, you know, on the, the sun lounges, yeah. just on the promenade deck, looking out to the horizon. And even, even sometimes it's a little bit chilly. You get the sea air, and they, you know, right. they always say fresh sea air, good for the lungs. It's just, just yeah. brilliant. So, um, yeah, I, I love Desert Sea, and I know you will too. Loads to see, loads to do. But we're making our way over to the Hawaiian Islands, aren't we? Yeah, the collection of islands. We're actually hitting Maui first and Lahania. And this is, I mean, all of the islands have got stunning landscapes. Um, there's a dormant volcano that's definitely worth um, going to see here. There's opportunities to go well watching. Can't ever guarantee whether you're going to see them, but there's some of the, the greatest opportunities. Uh, and also you've got the, the Valley of the Kings, um, which is uh, not far from the, the, the dormant volcano. And this is a tropical paradise. I mean, you can see I mean, some just, of the... Yeah. So want to go. Quite, there. quite unique. Then we're off to Honolulu. Now, of course, Honolulu is famous for, for many different things. Great landscapes, great beaches. But if you want to do some historic stuff, then you can go to Pearl Harbor. And, of course, I think that's one thing I would have to do straight away yeah, because it's such an important part of history and you don't get off opportunity to, to do that very often. Um, also, dare I say, Hawaii Five-O. Of course. <laughs> just straight away, you can hear the theme tune. You can't. Just to, you Our know. producer's singing it, yes. Hey, j j <laughs> just imagine, though, hey, just getting down on the beach in, the, in, in, in Hawaii, getting your grass skirt on, getting the, was it the lays they have, the little floral things, and just hearing the, that beautiful music. It'd be fantastic. Oh, I would, yeah. Anyway, then. I'd love to do it. <laughs> Where's next, anyway? Uh, Cowie. Um, imagine you in a grass skirt now, just in there. Oh, oh dear, please, so, no. So Cowie's next, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's known as the Garnet Island for, for obvious reasons here. You've got the fantastic canyon. You've also got the Rivers Fern Grotto to go here as well. It's it's quite quite um, a, a dramatic landscape, and a lot of you probably looking at that and going, that seems familiar. Um, if you've seen a film where there's lots of dinosaurs, um, then, exactly, yeah, yeah. there you go. Um, now we're off to Hilo, and this is the black sand beaches. Um, so, very volcanic here. Um, again, you've got, you've got the continuation of the Waipo Valley, the Valley of the Kings. Um, so you've got 13,796 feet above sea level um, is the summit of one of the uh, the highest points on this island. So the helicopter tours here are absolutely awesome. There's an observatory as well. Um, it's just one of those places you've got to go out and experience. Do not stay on the ship. You've got to get get out there and experience it. Now you've then got, uh, say, several days at sea, and I know you're going to love those. So just enjoy that fantastic ship and everything that Princess has to offer. And we're making it over to Ensenada. Yeah, we're off to Mexico, and this is just fantastic. Great wine region, actually. I, I didn't actually yeah, realize. I didn't the Guadalupe Valley Winery. Um, it's it's really sort of the, the next big sort of region to, to, to go. So uh, look into that. Also, uh, there's the Bufadora, which is the, the largest marine geyser in the world. And um, this is uh, located on one of the peninsulas and actually blows water up to 100 feet above sea level. Wow. Um, so definitely, I, I want to go and see it. Wow. It's great. It's big, it's loud, and it just blows up. It <laughs> just sounds great. Um, uh, and also shopping-wise, there's some great silver jewellery, pottery, woven blankets, and all the usual duty-free items as well. Uh, and then uh, back to LA, Los Angeles, we disembark, you're transferred to your airport, and back to London. So let's just uh, recap. You are going to board the beautiful Emerald Princess. Loads of choice. Amazing service with Princess. Um, outstanding food. Cannot recommend them highly enough. Moves into the stars, of course, as well. Love doing that. Skywalker's nightclub. That's where I'll be. 
Yeah, that is good actually. Just yeah. up on the on the aft end, yeah, there's the nightclub. Yeah. Um, uh, the Grand Class ships are absolutely they're, they're really good. The yeah, atriums are. are fantastic. The outdoor deck space really clever, and the promenade deck goes right around the front as well. Um, amazing price for this as well. We think what's included because you will be away uh, 70 nights. You've got a night in LA uh, prior to your cruise, of course. You can add on um, an extra night should you wish for 100 pounds per person. And also, uh, if you did want to add on a three-night pre-cruise stay in Las Vegas uh, and an extra hotel stay in LA, we can do that from £450 per person. Again, I just ask the call centre, we can talk through the different options in terms of La uh, Los Angeles and Las Vegas as well. And um, the lead date is the 23rd of February with a price of £1,499 per person. We've, um, we've got some great prices for the other dates as well and uh, some wonderful upgrades to uh, balcony and mini suites as well. In fact, we have uh, we can show that if you like. So uh, actually the, um, the inside is the same price on all those dates, but the, um, the balcony, I'll, I think for an extra £150, I'd definitely have the balcony. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. good call. Especially, yeah. especially so the, the outside, location that you're going yeah. for. For the outside, I should say, next yeah. £150. And if you can stretch the balcony, even better. The mini suites are really nice as well uh, with Princess. But anyway, let's quickly recap everything we've uh, seen. We started. <laughs> there is with, a lot tonight. Oh, I, know, I, know, I know. So we started <laughs> off with uh, this amazing Canary uh, Islands cruise. Uh, on board the Zenith there at 699. That's all inclusive and a great single special at 829. Yeah, then we're on to the celebrity. We always talk about the modern luxury, but Ruth was talking tonight about an incredible value and the rare opportunity to get this once a year itinerary. 18 nights on board the fantastic celebrity silhouette, ID number 182921. And then from Celebrity, we moved on to Viking on board the Viking Star. Ultimate luxury, the most amazing ships. And you are going to get an exclusive free silver drinks package. You're going to get onboard spend. Uh, you've got flights from Manchester, Birmingham, Edinburgh, Glasgow, notes for supplements. Uh, ID number 177352. Then we're off to the Norwegian Cruise Line, and this, a fantastic cruise around the South Caribbean. Uh, flying out to New York, having some great offers here, premium all-inclusive uh, cruise with drinks and your Wi-Fi included, and up to $500 on board spent uh, per stateroom. That's ID number 183885. Then we had that fantastic uh, river cruise, of course, with Saga. Cannot um, emphasize enough, you have got to go for the single special tonight, because very limited availability. Uh, all your drinks included with lunch and dinner, and of course, a deposit from just a pound per person. That is exclusive with Planet Cruise. Then we finished up with that great princess deal. This is heading out to LA and Hawaii. This could be a once in a lifetime trip. You've also got options to stay in Las Vegas as well. Uh, deposit only on this one. Give us a call tonight. Um, and the ID number on that one is 185697. Well, don't forget, all the details are on the Planet Cruise website, planetcruise.com. And of course, a chance to go to that luxury cruise show with us as well. Um, what a show. Uh, some great itineraries. Yeah, and, and look, I, I'll, I'll be quite quite frank with you. You know, this is is just um, just the tip of, of, of what is out there. You know, if, the, if you've seen something tonight, you're like, oh, I wouldn't mind doing that, but I'd really love to do this. Give us a call tonight, and if we can do it, we will bespoke it where we can. Well, we are that time. We will see you next Tuesday at eight o'clock with Planet Cruise. Justin, thank you so much. Yeah, see you next week. See you next week. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.